Jared Sandler here with you inside of Centene Stadium. You know, there's so many people in the organization that play such an instrumental role. You come to the games, you see the players on the field, but for everything to be possible, so many people put in so many hours before and after the game. We're going to take a tour and, and look at the role of one of these people. That's Greg Pierce, the head clubhouse manager. So uh, let's take a look. So we're about to go into the clubhouse, and obviously no visitors, but uh, I think we can allow you guys to step in here for this. Oh, look who it is. It's Billy. It's Billy. Billy C, the ground yeah. screw chief. Ground screw chief. <laughs> so here's the laundry room. Here's Greg Pierce, head clubhouse manager. How you doing, Greg? How are you? All right, Greg, so what do we have in here? Um, well, just getting towels out of the dryer. Um, as a matter of fact, I was just about to go hang some towels and lockers. All right. Well, so we got the washers and the dryers. Yep. Before we get to the, the, the locker room, though, what do we have in here? I think everyone wants to know what's in here. Uh, well, that is where I keep the food for the spread. Um, sell the guys that got munchies, uh, candy bars, pretzels. Um, the adult beverages are for the coaches. Not for the players, obviously. Um, no, can't do that. No. Um, there's Gatorade in there, and uh, I have other snacks over here that they can get when they get the munchies before they eat their spread, and then other stuff for the spread. Now, what's uh, what's on the menu for today? Today we're doing uh, the the standard peanut butter and jelly, um, cold cuts. We're gonna have some fresh fruit and um, pink lemonade to drink. Today. Pink lemonade. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is the laundry room. Greg spends tons of time in here before and after the game to make sure the players get to play with nice white jerseys when at home and clean gray jerseys on the road. All right, so we're going where? To the clubhouse next? We're going to the clubhouse. All right, let's do it. Not a lot of room with the sixth <laughs> day of a seven-game homestand. No. It gets kind of cluttered. So this is the area where they do their uh, physical training after the game. And then here is the clubhouse. Now... I don't believe anyone's in here right now. No, nope, it is. Uh, it's empty. I haven't got the trash out yet, but it is empty. <laughs> I want to tell you guys that this clubhouse is usually a lot cleaner, but the minute the players step in here, everything that was clean becomes dirty, as I'm sure several of you parents are well aware of when you had to clean up after your sons their rooms. I'm no different. My room's very dirty. So we got the towels being hung up, obviously the jerseys in the locker, the pants, all their personals, Baseball America magazines for them to read. A lot of the a lot of the guys like to to sit and catch up on the baseball world. A deck of cards. They play cards all the time in the clubhouse, especially the pitchers, because we all know that the pitchers really don't do much other than run and throw baseball. Spread killers. They are spread killers. That's right. We'll take you quickly in here while Greg folds the towels. This is the bathroom. And then the showers. Now, of course, you got the shaving cream. It's an organizational rule that everyone has to be clean shaven. Greg had to go take care of some business. So straight ahead, Right in there, that's the coach's office. They're currently in a meeting right now. It's Ryan Newman, the manager, Brian Draymond, the pitching coach, and Gary Ward, the hitting coach. So we don't interrupt them, but that's another part of the clubhouse. And we're gonna let Greg take care of some stuff, but next we'll go to the equipment room.